A beveled joint, such as you would find in a small box, can provide a nice clean appearance, but it's not a terribly strong joint because you're gluing end grain to end grain. It's like gluing a bunch of straws end to end. There isn't as much actual glue surface as it may seem. So you may choose to reinforce this joint with a spline. Splines are fantastic because the slot portion of the joint exposes long grain, which is a more substantial glue surface than end grain is. I also like that splines are hidden inside the joint so they don't compromise that clean look you're going for. So let me show you an easy way to cut these joints accurately. I'm using a router table, but the same principle may be applied to a table saw as well. I've already cut 45 degree bevels on the ends of my work pieces. Now I'm attaching them back to back with some double sided tape. I'm careful to line up the sharp edges on the mating bevels. Together, the two 45 degree bevels create a 90 degree corner that fits against my fence and table. This means I won't have to worry about the sharp edge slipping beneath the fence as I make my cut. And it provides two reference surfaces to help me maintain the proper angle while the cut's being made. I line my router bit roughly in the center of the downward facing bevel and I lock it in place. I've also cut a 45 degree bevel on the edge of a straight piece of two by six construction lumber. This will give me even more angled support. I'm careful to align it parallel to the fence using my work pieces as a spacer and then clamps on both ends will hold it in place. The work pieces are wide enough that I have little problem keeping the bevels flat on their reference surfaces as I move the piece through the cut. If they were any narrower, I might use a push block behind the work piece to help guide them through. Either way, keep your fingers well away from the bit. Both work pieces may be slotted with the same setup merely by rotating them 180 degrees and taking a second pass. Save your secondary fence for the next time you need it. I even suggest labeling it so it doesn't get used for something else. Now a word about the splines. For greatest strength, the grain should not run parallel to the seam in the joint. It should run perpendicular to the slots. Quarter inch plywood makes great splines as well because its grain direction alternates from layer to layer, making it relatively strong in any direction. Try splined bevels out for yourself. Your joints will thank you. See you next time. We couldn't do what we do without folks like the Bushy family over at Clearview Cyclones. Not only do they make the best dust collection cyclones on the market, but they're woodworkers, supporting woodworkers. They're the sponsor of this video and I really hope you'll thank them by visiting their website and using our discount code below this video. Wait, don't go yet. If you're new here, please subscribe and remember to ring the bell. I would really appreciate that. Give us a thumbs up or better yet, leave us a comment. I always read them. And be sure to check out the latest issue of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. It's always packed with tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker.